Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit, and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? about himself or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth and, beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all, Let all the earth cry out to God, God with joy. joy. Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Let, Let all, all the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let, Let all the earth, earth cry out to God, God with joy. joy. Blessed be God, who refused me not, my prayer, or his kindness. 
Let all, Let all the earth, earth cry out, out to God, God with joy. joy. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God be in your heart and on your lips. You may proclaim his holy gospel worthy and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to Lord, you Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My brother and his family live in St. Louis, Missouri. And St. Louis, and certainly Missouri as a whole, is famous on its license plate for the words, the show me state, show me state. I don't recall uh, which uh, congressman or senator it was that was so famous uh, for that uh, saying from Missouri, but the notion being that he wouldn't believe unless he had seen it for himself. You really had to, to prove it, you had to show it. We, however, are not uh, the people of the show me faith. The show me faith. But that I mean, take in our first reading here this uh, eunuch, a high court official, he is traveling along. And what is he doing? He is reading sacred scripture. He's reading sacred scripture, that's what we're told. And he can't quite make sense of it, but by God's divine providence, uh, Philip, a uh, newly minted, newly ordained uh, deacon of the church, uh, is transported by the Holy Spirit to this time and this place for uh, this Ethiopian. And it's God's desire that this Ethiopian, who's already a man of faith, uh, receives so much more from God, so much more from sacred scripture, but he's reached a point where by just reading it and thinking about it, he really can't go any further. Uh, he needs uh, someone to tell him more about it, to help him put the pieces together. Uh, not to show him as such, but instead uh, to reveal to him through the uh, opening of the word, the expounding upon the word. And so, uh, as uh, Philip and the eunuch are traveling along, that's exactly what Philip's doing. Philip's helping him make sense of what he's been reading in sacred scripture, helping him to see how when the prophet Isaiah had said, like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer, it's silent, so he opened not his mouth. Now, we, of course, uh, have the benefit of living post-resurrection, so we know Yes, that's obviously referring to Jesus the Christ. And it goes on to say, in his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. So again, here, here in reading the scripture, um, the eunuch only can go so far. It really needs someone else to talk with him about the scripture to help him to go so much further, and further they do go, both figuratively and literally, 
till really the eunuch comes to believe that Jesus was the anointed one, that scripture speaks of him, and so he's on fire with the spirit. And now he has this great desire to be baptized, to become really a disciple of Jesus and to learn even more, to grow even more in his faith. Even then, again, in uh, the gospel account, uh, Jesus himself said that not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. So even with Jesus, Jesus uh, never shows us the Father. He reveals the Father to us primarily through his teachings, which are then backed up, of course, by his miracles, and ultimately with his rising from the dead for those of us who are called and, and do believe. This is all by, by way of encouraging you during these days uh, to spend not just more time in sacred scripture, just spend time in sacred scripture. I hope all of you are spending time outside of mass, just reading and reflecting on scripture. Uh, but you can go further, and God wants you to go further. And so the best way to do that is if, if you have someone, for starters, who can read the scripture aloud, even if you're just a husband and wife, to read the scripture aloud to each other, because it is in the speaking of the word that God is wholly present, not just in the reading of the word to oneself, but actually in, in the utterance of God's word, God is, Christ is fully present. And then to talk about it, to talk about it. Hey, what do, what do you think this scripture passage means? Well, it could mean this, could mean that. What do you think it means? Well, I'm thinking about this. And then there's just a plethora of online resources to help you go further. Uh, and again, encountering Christ uh, in his spoken word. And when we do go further, then we begin to see in a new way that our human sight is just too limited. But with our spiritual sight, again, we can really encounter the risen Christ in the fullness of his glory in the hearing of the word. And the hearing of the word compels us to then break it open and share it wholly and freely with another. Let us now rise and gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Thank hear our you. prayer. For those who hold positions of civic authority, May the Spirit of the Lord lead them in serving their people with charity, justice, and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to feed themselves or their families, may God give them strength and lift them from their difficulties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, May God grant us the zeal and faith of Philip as we announce the gospel of the Lord in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Cassia Werner, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they see God in all his splendor in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, we bring the needs of this day, those spoken, those within our hearts, those that are known. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather up people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with her blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Monica and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, and your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, in Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours, yours now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit, spirit Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I'm worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, roof. but only, only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed.
Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder uh, that uh, a private weekday mass uh, is available uh, for those who uh, sign up for it, and uh, just go to our website, stmonicami.org, and there right now you'll, you'll see that setting of the Last Supper, and so if you'd like to join me for a weekday uh, morning Mass here at 8 a.m., uh, to just, just go there and uh, sign up for one of the four individual spots uh, that are available. Um, I believe, I think this week is already booked, um, but there are time slots, um, there are spots available uh, next week, and um, I think we're going to be here for, sadly, a, two or three more weeks uh, before public Mass resumes. So I want to encourage you who would like to participate in Mass to receive our Lord in the Eucharist uh, to uh, go, go online and uh, sign up and, and to come and uh, celebrate the goodness of the Lord uh, with me here on the weekday morning.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.